Uh, thank you, uh, Debbie. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me here today. Pre uh, proud to be part of your uh, presentation. Uh, mobile is tricky. I want to talk about winning in 210. How do you use mobile in your brokerage to gain clients, gain leads, and retain and recruit agents? Uh, there's a lot of different platforms out there, 100 or so different devices. Uh, so it's been kind of confusing for a lot of agents, a lot of brokers are looking at this technology and saying, how do we harness this uh, in a way that's useful for our company? Um, and I think what I want to do today is break it down and step back and take a look and say, it's not about the device or the platform or the carrier or AT&T or Verizon. It's about how consumers are using that device. That's really important. And when we target behavior versus the actual device, then it's actually a very simple solution. And Bill, uh, he, he actually was a perfect intro for me because he mentioned that uh, mobile is not about browsing. It is a diff completely different experience from the computer. And once we understand that, then you can, you can understand mobile, and then we can actually develop a good mobile uh, real estate solution. I was at uh, Inman last week, gave a really short presentation on quickly mobile technology. Individual came up to me afterwards, this is very typical, uh, so nothing against him, but at the end of the presentation, he came up and said, hey, you know, good stuff, I like what you had to say, um, and I think you're right, everything is going mobile. And when I hear comments like that, and like I said, maybe you've said something like that in the past, it's frustrating for me because we're, yes, everything has gone mobile. There's no question about it. We've seen hundreds of ads on TV for the App Store. There's no question we've gone mobile. Let's, let's elevate the conversation. The next question we need to be asking ourselves now is, what is the right mobile solution? If I told you you need an internet website for your business, you'd laugh at me. Yeah, there's no question you need a website. What's the right web, uh, web 2.0 experience? Well, same with mobile. What's the right kind of mobile solution? We know we need to be on phones. What's the right way to engage that, uh, the consumer? Thank you. All right. So as Debbie said, I was in the Air Force, so you tell them what you're going to tell them, you tell them, and then you tell them what you told them. So <laughs> still in that kind of mindset. So I'm going to talk about some demographic and statistics. Then I think the most important slide in my whole presentation is how is a consumer using their cell phone? And then using the knowledge of their behavior, target uh, and develop a good mobile real estate marketing plan. Okay, some statistics here that I think are key for us. 4,200 prefer a text message to a phone call. Uh, why is that important? Because can, we think of text messaging as the teenager kind of activity. Well, the fact of the matter is uh, the business community has jumped on text messaging as the preferred method of communication. It's not intrusive. It's quick. It's efficient. And they, I think it was Harvard did a, a research study on text messaging. They actually came up and said text messaging is the fastest way that we will ever come up with communicating. There's actually not, short of telepathy or something like that. We will not come up with a faster way of communicating between each other simply because we always have our mobile device on us. Average American sends twice as many texts a day uh, as calls, which amounts to about 4.1 billion. This was 2009 figures. I imagine this is probably uh, 6 billion. It'll probably double by the end of this year. This is the one that gets us as marketing uh, companies very excited. 91% of Americans, and you laugh about this. Some of you probably have your phone right on your nightstand at night. 91% of Americans keep their phone within arm reach 24-7. <laughs> that's kind of scary. But... That gives us an incredible amount of persuasive ability and influential capability, as, like I said, as a marketing, uh, marketing professional. Americans would rather lose their wallet than a cell phone. Think about that. And I, next few years, I expect a lot of the stuff that's in your wallet will end up on your cell phone anyways. Follow the money trail. That's the bottom line. Uh, 200, 2009, $200 million was the mobile spend. 11 and 12, we expect that to be $25 billion. Uh, let me get this right, $5 billion, which is a factor, an increase of a factor of 25. There's not too many parts of the economy right now that are growing by a factor of 25. All right, smartphone market share. And I, I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, it's not about the device that you have, okay? But I do want to mention 38% of Americans right now are carrying a smartphone. If we raise your hands in here, I'd say it's probably closer to 80%. Um, amongst the people we care about, 25 to 55, that number is probably closer to 60% amongst home buyers. So I, the writing's on the wall, uh, which direction's going. Literally, it's on the wall. You can see the graph going up. In a few years, it's going to be close to 100%. Now, I, point, I, I put this slide in here. It really has, again, nothing to do with real estate or mobile marketing. But what, it, what is very clear here is um, uh, I, I like the new Chevy commercial, by the way. May the best car win. Everybody seen that? I've uh, been advertising during football games. Well, this slide, this is my may the best phone win. And it's very clear. And as a community, we've become kind of BlackBerry-centric. A lot of agents have BlackBerry phones. There's a lot of different reasons. You can open up the lockbox with them, whatever. But the point is, the experience on the phone, the experience that's winning right now is the iPhone. It's the Android phone. And Android, by the way, only has 4%. That's probably 5 or 6% now. Uh, this is, again, 2009 numbers. But um, 
the Android and the BlackBerry are winning, even though BlackBerry, by the way, I'm sorry, I said iPhone. The iPhone and Android are winning right now, even though the BlackBerry has more devices than the both of those combined. And what that tells us is what the users want is an experience on your cell phone that mirrors what you get on your uh, on the computer. And it's and I think everyone in this room would probably agree with me on that. The BlackBerry experience on the web is not very good. Sorry, Rim. That's just the fact. The, the verdict is in. The experience that consumers want is the same, similar. Maybe not all the garbage that's on your website, but a toned down version that you can zoom in, scroll out. What you're familiar with on the computer is winning on the cell phone. Okay. So with that in mind. So here's some of my conclusions from uh, mobile stats. All mobile phones will be smartphones in a few years. So develop a smart uh, a solution that, that kind of keeps that in mind. Again, it's not really important. Mobile marketing for real estate should be agnostic in terms of what device. But I think it's important to know that all phones will be smartphones in a few years. Everyone will be accessing the Internet. Text messaging is a preferred method of communication. No question about that. I'd rather get a phone call. or I'm sorry. I'd rather get a text message than a phone call. Uh, I'm still trying to get my mom to, to text message. But... Uh, as soon as I text her, guess what? She calls me back, and then <laughs> I get in trouble if I don't answer. So bigger screens are the winners, and I, and I mentioned this. The slide-out keyboards are either going to be gone, or they're going to they're be slide-out keyboards, or it'll just be a, a, a touch screen. Uh, the mobile web will mirror what's on the computer. We're seeing that. The iPhone is proof of that, and that is what is going to happen. And uh, uh, develop your mobile strategy, I guess, for that kind of experience. Uh, but what's most important, I think this is the most important slide in my whole presentation, is that mobile behavior is different than computer behavior. Clearly different. The two, Bill, Bill kind of mentioned this. I want to put this in kind of my terms, uh, browsers versus hunters. Uh, and this is kind of us men on the, on, the, uh, on the left and then women more refined searching on the computer. But the point here is that when we're on a computer, guess what we're doing? We have a mouse, we have a keyboard, we have a lot of inputs. We're making a decision. That's the crucial point. We're making a decision when we're on a computer. When you're on a cell phone, you're not making a decision. You've already made the decision. All you're doing now, and back to what Bill says, we're hunting for a bit of information. We're going grabbing an email. We're grabbing directions. We're grabbing sports scores. But we're not browsing. We're just not. And the reason for that is because when we have our mobile device, we're walking, we're driving, hopefully not driving and using the phone at the same time too much, but we're in a mobile environment. It's a mobile phone. Um, so consequently, you're doing different kinds of activities that you did in front of a computer. And this is what's made it hard for mobile marketers is that we've developed plans that were for computers, and we thought that that would translate over to the mobile field, and it isn't. It just is not. And, there's no ex and real estate is no exception, absolutely no exception. So we need to keep this in mind as we go forward, and your mobile solution needs to be one of a hunter solution. Hunting consumer that wants information on real estate is hunting for information. They're not going to go to your website to browse, I guarantee you. I guarantee you that. Um, and that I don't think will ever change. I talk to MLSs all the time, and they say, well, why is your broker buying your solution? We have this mobile website where they can go and search, on this, and we go and we take a look at it. Do you think a consumer has any idea what zip code they're in when they're out with their mobile device? I mean, I don't, I don't spend time educating MLSs. They're not my clients. But um, the point is that consumers just won't do it. They won't do it. Don't, don't take my word for it. Here, These are the sites. I did a little bit of research. Top 10 sites on the right here, everyone knows this to be true. The top 10 sites on the computer. Okay? If, if the consumer's experience was the same on a cell phone, we would expect the top 10 sites to be the same on mobile devices. However, they're not. What we clearly see here are what I call destination sites. Sites you go to to pull up one bit of information, and that's it. One and out, and you're done. Email, sports score, news, whatever. You're not doing the Wikipedia, the Amazon, the eBay experience. You're just not doing that on the cell phone. I think everyone in here, maybe... You didn't know it in these kind of terms, but intuitively you understood this is the truth. This is how we're using our cell phones. Four and a half minutes, that's it. That's the average experience on the web on a mobile device. Four and a half minutes and then they're done. So if you think you're going to engage someone with all this rich content, pictures of the house, virtual tours, all this stuff, it just isn't going to happen. I'm sorry, it just is not happening. They're going to do the prime. As much as I'm a mobile guy and I like pushing my technology, primary search for real estate, guess where it's going to always happen? On the computer. It's always going to happen on the computer. The phone is going to be compliment that person when they're out driving around, and guess what? I see a property I'm interested in. I go into this hunter mindset, and now I'm searching for information on this one property. Okay, so the conclusion here is that searching, searching and filtering style mobile technology, it's gone. If you have one of those sites, redesign it and come up with a solution that's more interactive based on the consumer's location. Number one rated quality of mobile technology was ease of use. If you're going to build a mobile website, take a